Here's a live look from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, where all systems are go for today's launch of a Falcon 9 rocket, equipped with the first private crew rocketing to the International Space Station. Looking good out there. The weather is looking good as well. 90% chance of go for weather, so we're in good shape. Today marks a milestone in human spaceflight and part of Axiom's vision to one day make space more accessible to everyone. Yes, our coverage continues now. News 6 is Amanda Castro live at Jetty Park this morning. Amanda, excitement is really building out there as we get closer and closer to launch. How are things looking out there? Yeah, Bridget, it's actually starting to fill up a little bit out here at Jetty Park. When we got here a little more than an hour ago, it was still kind of slow out here, but we are starting to see some folks, uh, you know, come out, grab their chairs and find their spots here along Jetty Park to watch this morning's historic launch. People have also been camping out since yesterday so they can witness the first private crewed launch skyrocket to the International Space Station. SpaceX and Axiom Space saying all systems are go for this morning's launch. This marking an important step toward Axiom's goal of one day building a private space station in orbit. Now, while out here at Jetty Park this morning, we spoke to a couple from Illinois who are traveling across the country saying they remember watching shuttle launches from Jetty Park decades ago, and they're excited to see what's next for the future of space exploration. It is neat. Who would have ever thought when this all started way back with President Kennedy and saying we're going to put a man on the moon and so forth, that we'd be at this point where private entities are going into space and doing the things they are. It's, it's just, it's, it's exciting. What is the future going to be like? You know, it's just really cool to think, what are we going to do next? And what we're doing next is sending private astronauts to the International Space Station back out here live at Jetty Park, where all of these folks are here this morning to witness that historic launch. And we're anticipating that there's going to be even more people showing up, bigger crowds coming up within the next couple of hours with liftoff set at 1117 this morning. We, of course, will bring you live coverage of this morning's launch as well as reaction from here at Jetty Park coming up later on News 6 as well as on ClickOrlando.com with the Choose Your View uh, option. So hopefully you guys will tune into that. We'll actually have another live hit coming up in just a few minutes here at Jetty Park. But for now, live in Cape Canaveral, Amanda Castro getting results new six. Amanda, thank you. Love seeing everyone out there at Jetty Park. Takes you back to covering the shuttle launches and all that. So nice to see. It is. Of course, the Axiom crew will be heading to the International Space Station. And just last week, a NASA astronaut returned from his stay aboard the orbiting outpost. And News 6's Crystal Moyer is at Space View Park. Mark Van de Heij spent almost a year in space. Yes, I mean, we're out here. There's a ton of people from all over the world. We've seen some people from around the country, people from England. You know, they were out here at Space View Park as part of their vacation and said, hey, why not come out here and see this launch, a historic launch coming after an astronaut came back from his historic mission to space. Mark Van de Heij spending 355 days on board the International Space Station. And last week he spent some time, well this past week he spent some time speaking with reporters about his experience. It's wonderful to be back. Uh, there are some aches and pains that I did not have before that I'm getting lots of help in resolving. So I look forward to those getting resolved, um, but we're making steady progress in that direction. 55-year-old astronaut Mark Van de Heij recovering after his record-breaking time on board the ISS as an American astronaut. He had a prior mission to the ISS in 2017 and says it takes physical and mental strength to spend a long period of time in space so far from friends and family. A lot of being able to be successful on the space station or any place remotely for that long is going to be uh, how you deal with your own mental health. So that requires a lot of emphasis, and I, I felt better on this space flight, the longer one, than on the previous one because I really did put a lot of work into uh, kind of the conversations I would have with myself, my own internal voice. So that helped a lot. During Van de Heij's time in space, there were about 60 to 100 experiments going on at any moment on board the ISS. During his last mission, he shares his favorite experiment. A unique experience we had with growing hats chili peppers. And the reason I like it so much is because when I opened up that cover, I could smell those peppers. It was such a shocking difference, this smell of plants and vegetation. It was amazing. And then we got to eat the peppers. So that was a huge bonus. 
But arguably the most important experiment was Van de Heij himself and donated cells from other humans. And my contributions to that data that will help people further explore is certainly very, very satisfying because as I get older, I'm sure I'm going to be watching those things as people that are much younger than me uh, do some amazing things. There's a lot of challenges ahead and it's going to be exciting. Studying celestial immunity to see how immune systems react to the rigors of space flight. Data from Van de Heij's body will continue to be gathered for the rest of his life, helping to prepare the future of astronauts to maybe one day make it to Mars. To get a really good understanding of uh, space culture is kind of like trying to get a really good understanding of the culture of a team that's trying to do some type of expedition like going to Mount Everest. It depends a lot on the personalities of the people that you're with. The ISS has been in orbit for more than 23 years. It's made up of more than a dozen modules divided into two sections, the Russian segment and U.S. segment. This is video taken in 2015 showing the different areas on board the space station. Hello, I'm over here chatting it up with Lynn and her husband, Bob. They are traveling from Nashville, Nashville. They're out here to see this historic launch. And, you know, if you're on clickorlando.com, we have a section called Choose Your View. We have reporters all over Brevard County, every angle of this launch from the Kennedy Space Center to here Space View Park. So I was talking with Lynn and, and Bob about their experience here, and, and they said it was pretty emotional for them. I mean, this is your first time seeing a launch here, right? Tell me a little yeah. bit about that. It's our first time we came over here specifically because we heard there were going to be a couple launches and we've been staying over in Rockledge and we're just excited about seeing it. I just wish we could get on a boat and go a little bit closer. <laughs> I know, right? You think they'd mind if we started swimming? You know, if you're out there, maybe you're an insider and if you got a boat you can fit us on, that, yeah, that would yeah. be great. Give us a, a great perspective. You could have got a good, better assignment, you know. You could have got a... <laughs> A catamaran or something. No, there's no assignment better than this, Lynn. I love it. And you know, you were talking about how this really brings up patriotism for you. Sure Talk does. a little bit about what this means to experience this launch today. I really like seeing kids because I want kids to see the good things because they're hearing nothing about bad things. And I, I am so proud to be an American and so glad that we're still doing things that make us want to hoop hoop array and be emotional about it. I spent Monday at the Kennedy Center and I bawled the whole time. <laughs> I'm just a big baby, but that's okay. But I'm just proud to that America is continuing to do such great things. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for visiting. We're so happy to have you both here. I'm going to give Bob his chair back so he doesn't have to stand anymore. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your chair with me. And again, we will continue to bring you live coverage here on News 6. News 6 Plus, clickorlando.com. So head out there. We have every different venue for you to watch this historic launch. And, of course, I'll be checking back in with you guys throughout the morning. Back to you. Crystal, I love it. We can't <laughs> wait to hear more of those stories from the people out there with you. And, you know, she's right. You know, looking, having mm -hmm. something to look forward to. Yes. So, more now than ever. Mm -hmm. And when you think about what they're hoping to do to expand the ISS yeah. when it retires and build, mm -hmm. you know, a commercial space station, that's exciting. And there's so much more to come. And yes. It's good. And a lot for the children to look forward yes. to, like she said. Again, liftoff is set for 11:17. We will bring it to you live right here on News 6. Yes, and that extended live coverage online, you can choose the view you would like to see. Lots of viewpoints and cameras. Head to clickorlando.com/spaceview to check that out.